uh, you know, Drew coming along? Is, is he kind of the guy pegged for Saturday, or does it depend on what happens on Friday? Uh, you know, probably a combination of both, but I think, uh, you know, the, the first you know, thing that we think about is, you know, how, he, how does he feel? And uh, he's felt good. He's felt, you know, even the day after on Tuesday, he's felt good. Uh, but, you know, it's another, you know, uh, short rest for him. You know, obviously a little longer than the last time, but uh, uh, he probably won't make that decision until tomorrow, you know, probably after the game. The reason, you know, the biggest reason is because, you know, the game's so early and we'll probably, he won't know how he feels until he gets the game stretches out, starts throwing, playing a catch, uh, play catch tomorrow. Kind of easy today. Yeah. I'm asking this for Chris Talbot. Uh, can you talk about, uh, you know, going into the expectations, going to a Super Regional, finally breaking through and everything, just what that would mean to this program and, and if you put any extra pressure on yourself? On myself? Or on uh, the team? No, you know, I don't think you look at it that way. And, uh, you know, this is our fourth in five years, and, and, and certainly, you know, the goal, but the goal has been the same every year. The goal is to get to the College World Series and win a national championship. Uh, you know, I, I don't feel, you know, Parrish asked the question, I think, last week, you know, basically, you know, the same question. And, you know, personally, and I don't think the kids, you know, uh, uh, feel any added pressure. I mean, there's there's pressure with it. There's pressure when you play in a program like ours and part of large crowds. I mean, that's it's uh, you know, it's inevitable that there's going to be expectations and those types of things. But I, I don't feel this year is any different than any other year. We feel that every year, and I don't know if anybody's expectations are any greater than, than ours as a coaching staff and you know, as a team. Mike, Matt mentioned uh, do the things that you guys have done to get here, get to this point, but is, is there ever a temptation to coach or manage differently in a tournament, a game like this, this magnitude, to do some things differently to try to get over the hump, or is it is it all about just everything you've done leading to this point? I think there's always that temptation for everybody in every game, you know, to try to, to do more. And, uh, but I think uh, that's, you know, what Matt said, and, you know, the, the, the right approach is, is Believe in you know who you are. Uh, believe in what you've done to this point. Uh, you know certainly uh, you know both teams are deserving to be here, and it, it really comes down to who plays the best. You know who pitches, who catches, you know who hits, and uh, that's who wins. And uh, you know if anything uh, you know, that I've learned over the the other three super regionals is the team that plays well wins, you know, the team that plays the best. And, you know, we, we played, uh, didn't play real well over at Tempe, but the other two times that we played here against Miami and Texas, I thought we played pretty well. I just thought the other teams played terrific. And, uh, you know, so the goal is to do what you've done and to do it as well as you can. If you do that, the rest will take care of itself.